Yeah, uh, I thought the kids uh, on both sides uh, fought hard today. Uh, we had a chance to win the game and, and didn't quite get it done. I thought the goal line stand really uh, turned the game. You know, we had four chances to get in there and we didn't get that done. Uh, but a bunch of our young players played today. They played a lot, and um, that was uh, really a, a down locker room to go into. Those kids fought hard today, and we just didn't get it done. So, are there any questions I can take? Coach, your run defense was much improved from the previous weeks. Can you know, talk about that and what, what that's attributed to? Well, I think we're getting better. It's not, uh, you know, and even the kids, you know, I try not to um, uh, BS them, but. Uh, they are getting better. We're just not good enough yet, but we're getting better. And I think uh, the kids worked hard on it, and the coaches worked hard at it, and uh, we're getting better, and we'll continue to get better, I believe. Let's talk a little bit about that start you guys had. Obviously, it did not start very well at all. Because... Well, the one uh, big play, you know, we just told the kid, and it was a JC transfer, and a little undisciplined still, but we just told him, you know, read your keys, it's going to be play action. He didn't do it, and the guy runs right by him for a touchdown. And then I can't really recall what happened on that very first uh, scoring drive. I, I really can't tell you that. But we certainly wouldn't want to go down uh, or give up two quick scores like we did. So I was talking more about the open kickoff when Johnny fumbled it. After a good return, and I would have to see it. I don't see what, uh, you know, but these kids are trying. And I'm not, I'm not going to uh, criticize them that way. Uh, they're trying. And we're going to keep trying to coach, and we're going to get better. And I, we are getting better in a lot of areas. We just have a lot of areas to improve in. Were you guys limited in options, uh, not being able to use Dwayne and Corey in the run game? Uh, I guess you could say that. But uh, we, um, it's certainly different without them in there because uh, Priest is having a good season, and Corey's done some things here. So it's a little bit different. Without those guys, you were able to add that new dynamic. Well, we, uh, you know, we wanted to use find ways to use DeAnthony without uh, uh, overloading him. So uh, we just decided to put that in for him, a series for him, and allow him to use his ability on the edge and and go from there. Uh, Gillette and McMahon both got a fair amount of snaps. When do you decide who to use? I'm sorry. Gillette and McMahon both got a lot of snaps today. When uh -huh. do you decide who to use? When? Yeah. Well, I think during the course of the game, uh, we decided that and in the situation. But uh, we wanted to do some things with Gillette, which you saw. And then uh, we think um, that Kyle can do a lot of the same things. But uh, right now in his development, throws the ball a little bit better. So we really wanted to use them both. And, and, um, and we feel like they both give us a chance to win. And so we try to use them both. So, so, Coach, is that, is that going to be part of the uh, game plan for the rest of the way is to go with You know, I don't know. We, we, have to, we haven't decided that yet, and we usually decide on what we're going to do game plan-wise uh, Sunday night and Monday morning. But um, it's certainly an option, and I think Alex did some great things, and I'm happy for him, and I think Kyle did some good things. So uh, it'll be uh, interesting to see how it all plays out. Well, yeah, you know, he's a bigger back, gives us a chance to move the pile. Uh, um, so, you know, I just told the team, guys, when we have first and goal from the two we're going for, we should be able to make two yards. Now, we have been in situations thus far where we haven't had a lot of success doing that, but I want the team to develop that mindset, and I think to be good, you have to be able to gain a yard or two when you need to, and we just haven't been able to do that so far, but we'll continue to work at that. Actually, no, no thought about taking the points there and kicking the field goal? Well, yeah, there's a thought of it, but, I mean, uh, you know, we don't have anything to lose right now. So we need to uh, create an attitude and a mindset, and that's what we're going to do here. So you could call that maybe like a, a statement play there, like, hey, you guys accept You like to, yeah. I mean, you know, when you really have a good team, uh, you're not going to turn down seven points. You feel like you should score from the two, and that's uh, – we just have to develop that, but um, – our kids were trying, and I thought we, we, we really called a play in there, a uh, quarterback power that really should have scored in there. And I, I really want to look and see what happened because we had numbers and obviously didn't block some guys. So I'm, I'm a little concerned about that play. But we talked about uh, running direct uh, runs at the defense in, in the hopes of gaining two yards. It was a, another slow starting defense, like you said, but you guys seemed to settle down a little bit uh, in the second quarter and the beginning of the third. 
Um, is that another one of those things where you guys don't feel like I don't know that it's a slow start. I think what happens is um, when you give up uh, a couple of plays here and there, which is really what happened, particularly on the one drive, I think that was a one-play drive if I'm right. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, you just can't do that. And uh, so we still have to work on that. I can't because I didn't watch Cabrani really to single him out. And uh, so, you, you know, he run and hit you and all that stuff. He would do that. And, but uh, uh, they're a little different level of linebacker there. And so, uh, you know. You guys were down an offensive line today too, Craig? I don't want to get into that. You know, so no. That was not any I just don't want to get into that. You know, the guys who played uh, did their best, and uh, I don't want to talk about the guys who didn't play. I, I like the reason I'm answering you that way is because for the first time, these guys really showed what they cared today, and that was a hard locker room to go into. And this team has not quit on us, and they are trying to do what we're asking them to do, and I respect that. And uh, we'll get more guys in here, and, and these guys who are here will get better. But I respect what this team's trying to do right now. And uh, they could easily quit, and they could have easily not shown up today. And so I don't want to talk about the – I don't want to make any excuses. We're going to get better, all of us, and we're going to go from there. And we'll have our day. We're taking our lumps now, but we will have our day. And I, I've, been in, I've been in this long enough, not only – uh, in this profession, but I've been a part of, this was my third turnaround. We will have our day, and when we turn it, it will be turned. And so, therefore, I'm not going to make any excuses, and I'm not going to blame anybody. All I'm going to tell you is, is we're going to be professionals, and we're going to work to get better every single week. That's going to happen. And I respect the kids and what, they, what they're doing, and, and I feel for those kids. I mean, there's a lot of tears in that locker room. So, maybe this is tougher than today and maybe any of the other losses just because of their effort and how they played? Well, all the losses are tough, but um, when a team really starts to care, then it becomes really hard because these are young men and, uh, you know, they're they're not like older men. You know, they're not as uh, hardened, and so they do cry and they do feel pain more than uh, some older guys. And when you have a team in that position, you really have a chance to improve because now they really understand that they have to become emotionally invested. And once that happens, now they pay attention to detail a little bit more, and now they understand that each play uh, may affect the outcome of the game. And uh, so uh, I feel for them in one sense, but I'm really happy for them in another because uh, those poor and timid souls that never, you know the poem, and so uh, there are people like that and they never feel victory or defeat. They're just lukewarm. And for these guys to actually feel defeat, I'm happy for them. I really am. So that's a step in the right direction. Yes, it is. Anything else? Thank you. <coughs> Good. How are you guys? The coach was talking a little bit about how it was a tough locker room to go into after the game. He said, despite the loss, you guys felt like you guys took a right step in the right direction because you guys showed a lot of effort and that you care for the first time you said can you talk a little bit about those thoughts well it's what we've been preaching on you know, all all uh you know all week just just giving a hundred percent effort but at the same time you know uh giving effort's not good enough you know guys got to execute better because own six not acceptable a lot of plays out on the field so you know I mean, being on six i mean it was a, a solemn locker room you know as you can imagine you know because guys do care and uh you know, do want to win and turn this program around, and it's just, you know, so it's frustrating. Obviously, this loss is tougher than some previous losses. Um, can you tell us why? Just a little bit why? Oh. I mean, it's just because we had the midway point in the season, and it's been happening, like, as far as to the midway point in the season. So it's, it's getting tougher and tougher on guys each week, so. We, we we still not giving up. We're going to come each, hard every week. So, I mean, until we get that win, and even more. So. And, and you guys did a lot of good things, though. On, on defense, you were able to uh, you know, completely turn around the run defense and, and hold them to under four yards carry. And offensively, the enemy, they put this game in for you where you were able to uh, 
you know, operate with quarterbacks in the triple option system. Can you guys talk a little bit about each of those scenarios? Well, I mean, Tom has stopped to run a little bit. Uh, you know, we preach it every day. Um, we, that's all we work on pretty I mean, stopping the run, stopping the run, because if you can't stop the run, you don't have a defense. So, I mean, that's what you see in the, the you know, beginning part of the season is having been able to stop the run um, so you don't have a defense. Um, you know, I don't know what I don't know what the rushing yards or whatever, but it seemed like we stopped a little better today. Um, and, you know, that's a step in the right direction. You know, obviously we would have liked to, have this step in the right direction, game two or game three. But, um, you know, guys aren't going to give up, and, you know, we're going to keep fighting for, you know, EMU and, 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 and try to bring that home, that ne- uh, first victory uh, next week in Ball State. So we're going to keep coming to work and, and fighting and stuff. So. And basically on the offensive side, we felt that we have been starting games a little too slow as far as coming out with not enough uh, big plays made down the field and everything. So. We wanted to start fast, and that's what we've been putting the emphasis on since the start of last week. So <coughs> that's what we're going to put the emphasis on for the rest of the time. So. And Chris, a little bit on the defense. You guys seem sometimes get out to the slow start as well. After the first two drives, after they score, you guys seem to settle in a little bit. What do you think the reason behind that is? Um, you know, I, I don't know if it's completely our fault this game. You know, obviously we started in some pretty bad field position, but... You know, for the most part, I don't. Why we start slow, I don't know. You know, we put enough em- emphasis on it on practice. Like, we'll we'll go to uh, team one versus one now to start practice off, just to get everybody you know used to starting fast and and uh, and all that. Um, you know, it's just something that's going to be need to put an emphasis. I don't. You know, why we start slow, I don't know. Um, but uh, you know, it's, obviously, it's got to change for us to win. So. Anthony, you were the most out of your curious today. Can you talk a little bit about what came ahead? Um, I mean, I wouldn't consider it, again, because, I mean, a great game because we didn't have come out with the win in the end. But, I mean, I was just giving it my all, trying to make plays for the team in order for us to come out with that win. But in the end, it didn't happen, unfortunately. So, but. Chris, can you talk a little bit about that uh reverse pass they scored on is what kind of happened? Uh, I mean, uh, we were in a pressure, and, uh, you know, they kind of set us up earlier in the game. They'd run the reverse. Um, you know, it was a good play on them, and, you know, uh, had a little busted coverage in the back just because they'd run it, and they, they kind of set us up for it. Um, you know, they're, we were thinking they were going to keep pounding the ball because, you know, they're up, I think, 21 to 6, and, you know. Um, so we brought a pressure, and, uh, you know, this guy's just got to – do their job and, and not give them, you know, when they give you all that window dressing, just got to keep playing your technique and, and all that. So, I mean. Can I, can I play like that and take the air out of the defense a little bit? Oh, absolutely. I mean, we're, you know, um, I think it was, what, it was 21-6. Yeah. Um, we needed a stop, and, you know, that's a big play. So that kind of put it out of, out of range. It, you know, I don't know how much time was left, but I know there wasn't a whole lot. Um, you know, we get that stop and, you know, have a little more life in the, the offense, and, and they can come out and you know make it a game a little bit. And uh, Dan, can you talk a little bit about the goal line saying you guys got stuck there and pouring out right there? Yeah, the, I mean, two yards away. That was very unfortunate because that could have gave us a whole like a lot of momentum, more momentum than what we had then. And that's why I said before earlier when we started the interview that we left plays out on the field, and that was one of the key plays that we left out on the field, not punching it in on that key drive then. So that was very unfortunate and it like really like killed momentum as far as through the game then because that was one of the closest times we had in getting in the end zone then. So. And I guess this question is for you too. What is uh, <coughs> the feeling around this team right now? Um, getting down on yourself, staying confident, us against the world type mentality, anything like that? Well, I mean, obviously we're getting, you know, guys are down right now. I mean, we're not, our record isn't what we came in in the winter, in the summer, you know, through uh, fall camp. You know, no one, no one would have said, you know, what's, what, what's your guys' record? Uh, oh, it's six. Um, you know, so guys are obviously down. You know, especially guys in their last year. Uh, but, you know, we start each week. It's we're zero zero. You know, after after we come in tomorrow, watch the film. You know, um, they correct us on mistakes and stuff. We're Monday. We're zero zero. We're we're zero and zero, and you know um, we got to treat every game like that, and and get that first W, and hopefully rolls a little bit. 
you know, once we get that first W. So. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thank you. Thank you.